thought it would be fun today to take you guys on a tour of our home and show you everything that we've done so far. The good, the bad, and the downright ugly, because there are definitely ugly bits, and those are the parts that I don't put on Facebook or Instagram, but I'm going to show you today. So I wanted to show you guys all that we've done, and let's go take a look. Welcome to Apple Valley. Woo-woo. <laughs> Um, this is our home and I just wanted to show you all the front because we actually did a ton to this house before we moved in. Um, it was a foreclosure so we had to replace the roof because it was leaking. I think the house had been abandoned for at least three to four years. Um, and then we also had to redo all the piping and we put, um, I think it's called flex pipe, is that right? Pex piping. Um, we had to put that in the whole house because there were leaks everywhere and I will show y'all um, pictures of the leakage. Um, then we uh, had to remove all the vegetation that grew over the house because when we first bought this house you could not see it. You just couldn't see it. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys the pictures right now of what the house looked like before. And as you can see it's just, I mean where is the house? And there were these awful, awful, awful um, sago palms in the middle right here so you can even walk on the walkway it was so bad um, <laughs> anyways so I just want to show you all the front and what it used to look like things are looking good now starting to look greener and um, we did have a freeze so I think I lost a couple of bushes but I've done so much work planting and we're just gonna hope it gets better and better and better so let's keep going oh yes I should address the two mailboxes we have two mailboxes um I don't know why. <laughs> Everybody asks me this. I have no idea. All right, we're going up. We have two lions. They're really cool. Um, I had plants in those planters, but I've killed two sets now because I forget to water them. So one day those will have plants in them. We have a flag. Woo, America. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is our entryway. And I think it was this entryway, this grand staircase that just sold me. Um, it's hard to get it all in the picture here. But if you guys had seen this place before, you would not even believe. I did make a tree, I put that tree there. There's my pot that I painted. And it's so pretty in here. Okay, I'm gonna close the door. Um, let's see, I found those settees and um, I found them individually, actually. It was a big answered prayer that we got them. And I reupholstered them. I got this big giant pot and repainted it and put all the little appliques on there to make it look like it was painted by hand. I already showed y'all our tree. Um, let's see. So when we first moved into this home, it was all carpet and beige. Um, we just had the marble put in on the stairs and I'm going to do a side photo so y'all can see it better and then I will put the before photo in so you guys have a better idea. There's kitty. But there's that and I'm going to put the before photo in so you can see what it looked like and it was beige with carpet on the stairs which was pretty awful. Um, so we ripped out all the carpet when we moved in. We've been living without flooring for a while, and I'll show you what we did. We just actually painted the steps um, white so that we could just, and we painted the concrete white. Look, we still don't have flooring. Um, that's just painted concrete. Um, they're finishing up the stairs hopefully next week. We ran out of marble because of bad cutting. So the marble's coming in, and we're going to finish the side, and it's going to look really great. But, yeah, so we're gonna go through the center. I'll show you all the center of the house. So here we go. This was all dark wood paneling, 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 what is paneling? I don't know. All dark wood paneling. Um, and I'm gonna show you four pictures right now. And we still have these ugly ceiling fans. I have ordered chandeliers. They are currently being made and they're about to be shipped to us and they're huge. And I'll try and put a picture up too of that. Um, but this was all paneling. It still is all paneling, but I just painted it blue because I just can't stand brown. So, <laughs> and I'm sure you're all gonna be like, when you see the before pictures, you're gonna be like, wow, I did a lot of work. It took me 
think a whole week or two to get it all painted. Um, and I was really high up on the ladder. The ladder, the ceilings are about 20 feet tall. But good thing I do not fear heights. I don't have to fear much, but anyways. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys some more of this room. Maybe some more befores because it's just crazy. I really hate the ceiling fans. I can't wait for those to go. Okay, so y'all have seen the piano that I painted. Um, I'll show the before picture up really quick. And this is the after. And I did all sorts of stenciling on it. We had a giant kind of like sticker made. It was of a painting. And I finally got that put on the, the underneath side. So it looks really cool. It looks like I painted underneath there, but I didn't. It's just a sticker. So that's pretty awesome. Um, here are some of my paintings. <laughs> I really like color. Those are my two cats. You can find them. <laughs> it took me forever to figure out how to do this wall. There's like a million photos of me trying to figure out how to arrange those so they really looked nice. Um, we've got our vase wall over here. I found this cool, it's not a deer, I just forgot what it's called. Someone's gonna yell at me for that though. Pronghorn, yes, got it. <laughs> I gave it jewelry and a stole and it has a tiara, but you can't really tell. Um, and then this is our bar area. And I just ripped out cabinets right where that fridge is and cabinets right where that fridge is. So Andy's really excited because now we have a beverage fridge and you can see we love Topo Chico. Like, I think there's like 30 something in there, but we love Topo Chico. He has a couple of Hefeweizen. Those are really good. Um, and then we have our wine fridge, which he loves, and all of his beer glasses. You can kind of see me. Hi. Um, so yeah, this is getting better. We got to stock up some nice wines in there. I don't really know a whole lot about wine, and I'm really picky about what I drink because it needs to taste good if it's not much on wine. So we haven't done that yet. But yeah, oh, here's the other side of the house. The other side of the house. I mean the living room. Our main room. So there you go. And then I'm going to take y'all into, I guess, our bedroom. And then we'll go to the sides. Oh, wait. I told y'all I would show y'all the nitty gritty. So I'm going to show y'all this bathroom because it's so ugly. And I'm going to do it because I said I would. Okay. So here is our bathroom. You can see me again. Um, it needs a lot of work. It's kind of embarrassing. Um... <laughs> I was going to try and rip off the wallpaper and just paint it, but as you can see, the wallpaper was stuck really good on there and it started tearing off the board underneath and that was not good. Um, they had some really pretty wallpaper underneath, but couldn't get to it. It's still a little bit too beige for me, but um, normally I love flowers. This is just too beige and too brown for me, so we're not having that. But we did put in all new toilets, um, so when you buy a foreclosure home, that's important. The toilets were really, really gross. And I'll show you all the stuff we got to redo this bathroom. I haven't done it yet, but we have our stuff coming in for it. So it's great. The one lights out, it's glassy. <laughs> okay, here is our bedroom. And you guys have seen this before. We had a sofa there on the window and it looked great, but I, I we call it poaching furniture. I poach furniture from different rooms so that um, I can put it in better areas. So we need another sofa now for that area. But this is our bedroom. Oh, you can see me again. I love mirrors because they reflect light and they make things just look more glittery, I guess. I don't know. I just love, I love light. Um, and then that's the chandelier that we already had. So I brought that over. Um, let's see. Okay. Yes, I painted this bed. It used to be brown and then it used to be a purple color because I painted it purple and then I painted it blue. And I just put actually silver gilding on it, which is pretty cool. And then this huge armoire that I love so much. And it's like my second closet. So we have this really big room. It's really, really nice. And I love it so much. Um, let's see. And then I'm going to show you our bathroom, which is just awful. So I'm not going to go all the way in, but this is our bathroom. This is where I get ready. Isn't it lovely? Um... <laughs> It just needs so much work, you guys. So I never put this on Instagram, but this is our bathroom. It's beautiful. I've done nothing to it except cleaned it because it was so gross. And even when you clean it, it still looks gross, but it's a big bathroom. It just needs some work. 
Okay, let's keep going. Oh, kitty. Okie dokie pokey. So now we're gonna come into this room, which is the study. I think it was a billiards room originally because that cabinet has, that cabinet right there, has spots for all your pool sticks and stuff like that. But we're making it our kind of library lounge area. So it's our, also our, like our TV room. We actually spend most of our time in this room, I think, in the house because it's just so plush. We just got that sofa last March, so like a year ago, over a year. And I've been wanting that sofa for a really long time. It's huge. You probably can't even tell how big it is, but it is really big. And I love it. Okay. Did y'all see these windows? They're pretty. All right. There's me again. Hey. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So this is cool because I actually took a table and cut it in half. And we had marble tops made for it. So that's actually one table cut in half. So it looks centered. We got these giant mirrors from our house. And then I actually added the toll and the those porcelain flowers on there just to, you know, jazz it up a bit. But um, that was actually one table. <laughs> this is the vanity that's going into that bathroom. I just showed you the little half bath. Um, we did not have a spot for it since I was... Um, since I was filming, I wanted to kind of get it out of the way a little bit. This is our tea room. Um, I have not figured out what to do with it yet. I'm still, I'm struggling with it, with how I want to decorate it. Um, I want to reupholster these couches, obviously, so they match. I found different couches, but, um, that they actually match, but they need to match in material. And I'm having so much trouble finding the right material for it. Um, I have a lot of trouble finding the upholstery that I want for certain things. Um, but there's our cool mirror and the chandelier came with the house, which was so nice. And then this is my teacup wall and it just makes me so happy. I really love that. And this is another armoire we have. Um, I find most of my antiques on Marketplace. Okay, so here's the kitchen. And it is honestly, Still a work in progress because um, <laughs> we just painted it basically so that we could wait to have to redo it because it will have to be redone. But I will show y'all before and after pictures of what it used to be because it was all brown and this actually was all beige, but I added the wallpaper and I painted the ceiling blue and the door blue. Um, so. I just love this room when you look out onto the pool, which is really great. So you can see the wallpaper, you can see it into the living room area. And then this was our kitchen, or this is our kitchen, but I'm gonna show you a before picture really quick so you can see how brown it was. Um, when we moved in, it had horrible appliances. Um, and we think the original appliances were stolen out of it because it was a foreclosure home and someone just put in crap appliances. <laughs> so we had to put in all new appliances. Um, I changed out these chandeliers up top um, and I did buy this chandelier for it because I just wanted it to look really fancy. Um, I found that huge mirror right now there on Marketplace. It takes up the whole wall, which I just really love. So yeah, I mean, it was all brown. It was pretty gross. Um, uh, I want to put white countertops in here eventually. Um, I want marble, but I heard marble scratches, so we're not gonna do marble. Probably do granite or something, but um, we need a new countertop. Even though this is really nice, I just don't like the black. And then our sink needs to be redone too. It's like glued in there. It's not even held up by the actual countertop, so. Just some changes there. And then I think originally, well, I think in the end we will actually change out the cabinets because I don't know. I just think it, we're gonna have to redo this whole thing, but I love the blue, so I might stick with the blue, but. And then as you can see, we have this tile. I hate the tile. <laughs> I really do, I hate it so much. So eventually we're gonna rip that out too. And then I'll show y'all. We have a back staircase that has not been completed yet. I just painted it so that we could finish it up. And then, let's see here. Oop, the litter boxes. Oh, Kitty is actually going to the restroom. How <laughs> oh, gross. Um, we have this um, laundry room right here. 
and uh, we just stuck our treadmill in there. Um, we clean out the litter box before Andy runs on it, so it uh, doesn't smell so bad. <laughs> but it's not too shabby. And then we have one more really weird bathroom. Um, so this one's really bad. It has a tiny shower. It's so weird. I guess it's for the pool, but I mean, and just it's just all so old. I peeled off the wallpaper to see what's underneath, and it's like these cool rainbows. But it's still like just two eighties for us, so we're gonna have to redo this as well. Isn't that pretty? And I'll show y'all upstairs. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna take you upstairs. So we'll go up the new marble steps. It's so nice. And I had this um, dolomite tile put on the landing, so it's pretty sweet. Way better than ugly 80s carpet. And that marble tile on the floor was already there, so I don't love the browns in that tile, but it's marble and I'm not going to move it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to show y'all one of three guest bedrooms. Here we go. You guys have seen this one before. I'll post more pictures. I do have before shots of this room. They're just pretty basic though. Like it looks like a normal room. And again, we ripped out all the carpet and we just painted the floors for now. They're not perfect, but we will have wood coming in. I actually did order wood. It's a herringbone pattern and it's being cut at the sawmill as we speak. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then, let's see, I put up this chinoiserie wallpaper. Um, it's a little bit off on the color that I thought it would be. It's a little bit more limey than I wanted, but it's okay. It's still really pretty. Paint the ceiling green. And Andy calls this bed Franken bed because it's, it's a old antique bed combined with a king bed that's made to look antique. <laughs> But it turned out perfectly. I needed a king bed in here, so that's why it that's why I did that basically. And I will show y'all pictures. How many show you pictures right now of what it looked like? See? So that's Franken bed. Um <laughs> I think it's awesome. And then I added the silk um fabric up here, and that's actually a light. It's an old chandelier as I took all the crystals off and I strung the fabric through and I just need to put a piece of fabric underneath right there so you can't see the actual lights, but it totally worked. And it just feels super glam in here. And I just want people that when they stay with us, they feel like, I don't know, they feel special, maybe royal. Um, but this room still needs a couple of things. Like I haven't completely put stuff on the dressers how it's supposed to be yet. Um, let's see, and this room has its own bathroom also, which is pretty cool. The bathroom isn't as terrible as the others. It's more of like a yellow color. Um, I actually like the glass on the bathtubs because then you don't have to have a shower curtain. But, um, I don't know. I mean, it still has the 80s shell sink and all that stuff, but it's not as bad. I will show you the other bathroom, which is really, really, really bad. It's brown, it's horrible. So yeah, this is one of our guest bedrooms. I think it's really pretty. It's pretty big, I mean, you got your own king bed. I love this dresser. I painted that dresser and then we found that mirror on Marketplace. Actually, I didn't show you all the other way, did I? Okay, that was a chair I've had and I just painted it and upholstered it um, from a previous home and I might reupholster it again, but for right now it's fine. So yeah, as you can see, am I going too fast? Hopefully not. But I do love the chinoiserie, it's so pretty. And I'll show y'all pictures of when I had it all like decorated. It's really nice. Okay, so the next one, so we're going down the hallway. This one's on the far end. Ugly ceiling fans. Top shot of the living room. Okay, so we're going down the hallway. Should move that fan if I forgot to. Okay, bedroom number two. Woo -woo. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so you guys have seen this bedroom as well. Um, I just think it's awesome. I mean, of course, it still needs a few things. Like, for example, those mirrors are just temporary. I painted them to make them match, but I haven't found the right mirrors 
yet for those dressers. And then I spray painted the, the ceiling gold and I spray painted this antique bed gold. We found that chandelier, I think in an antique store actually. And I think it's really pretty, I love it. Um, the chair came from Marketplace, but I gilded it. And then we actually found this dresser at a cool store. It was called Elegant Furniture, I think. And it was on sale, so we got it for really cheap considering what those usually cost. Like, I think we paid $500 for it, which is awesome. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so we got a cool mirror. Then, let's see. What else do I want to show you? Oh, I thought this was kind of sweet. So this was actually my grandma's. And it looked so good in this room that I ended up going on eBay and finding another antique one. So now I have a matching pair on the dressers. And it just makes me think of her, which is nice. And of course, I love these feathers on the little... I don't know what those things are called. But I stuck feathers on the ends because I think that's what the French people did. <laughs> it looks really neat. <laughs> and then I'll show you this bathroom. Um, it's It needs some work also. It's not great. And then this is the really bad part that I hate so much. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell, but this flooring is just so bad. And then the bathtub is actually... I mean, it looks brown to me, right? It's... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put my finger in there, but, um, like, it's just a horrible color. So, <laughs> we have not done this room yet, as you can see, except it has a new toilet, which I already told you guys. And then it's actually a Jack and Jill, so here's another sink, and you walk through. Oh, and the mirror, look at the mirror, guys. Like, I don't even know what happened here, but it's just bad. And then there were stickers. I guess there were the kids that stayed up here. So the other bedroom had a ton of stickers in it too. And a bunch of dart holes. Like I said, a dartboard. And I had to fill in all those holes, which was not fun. But anyways, it is what it is. So all the bathrooms in our home need to be redone. Oh, I love this picture. We're in Venice and we dressed up with our friends. Anyways, that's on my wall. And then this is our third bedroom. And this is Andy's workroom. I mean, it's actually his office, but it's also a bedroom. And we're still, I'm still working on decorating it. So I've, I've done the bed and I'll show you a before picture of the bed really quick. And you can see how I had to put the upholstery on it and then I put the fabric on it and it turned out so nicely. But this is the bed. I still, still have my nightstands and some mirrors or something to go above them. Um, we painted the floors again and I stenciled the walls and I thought that looked so pretty and I painted the ceiling a darker shade of purple. And Andy was totally okay with that, so that's fine with me. And this is his little desk area, as you can see. We just got his desk, it fits perfectly in there, but we need a mirror to put behind there. And I asked if I could spray paint his monitors gold and he said no. <laughs> um, and, but I did find, he let me put this giant, well not, it's not giant, but this pretty good sized chandelier there. So it makes it look a little fancier. And then you guys saw this dresser. I just finished um, painting it and putting the little decals on it not too long ago. But it turned out so pretty and I love it so much. And this also needs a giant mirror to go above it. Um, we already had this chandelier. Um, I think I had to spray paint it gold, but other than that, and it is actually too big for the room probably, but because it goes over the bed, you will not run into it. So I am totally okay with it being too giant. Sorry, no, I'm moving the camera around too much, huh? But, so that's what we've got there. And then I guess I'll just show you the Lily's room. So we have one more room. These are all the bedrooms, of course, but you can just go down the hall. But if you go this way, you just hit the back staircase. Um, and then I have my fabric closet because I sew so much. And it's just jam-packed with fabric. Um, so thank goodness this closet's up here. And then, okay, here's Lily's room. So this room is also very massive. I think it's 800 square feet. And it's right over our garage. So this is where I do my sewing. So this is where I do my sewing. Um, <laughs> and creating. And this houses all sorts of stuff that I do for sewing. Um, this is my fancy desk that I love. Um, it just makes me really happy. As you can see it. 
Um, it's really, really pretty. And then let's see what else. Um, that's my birthday dress that I've been working on. I still have to add a zipper to it, but I think it's going to be so cute. So I'm really excited about that. Um, some antique chairs that I had. I tried to do a flower wall. Some of them are kind of falling down now. Um, I have this very large armoire to house more of my dresses and things. That's my birthday dress from, I think, two years ago. Antique lamp, antique chase, another antique desk. Um, I got a heat press, and I'm going to make my own tiles, I think, for the kitchen when we finally redo it. Um, and then we got this huge chase lounge here. I want to recover it at some point, but it works for now. So that is that. This room is a lot more decorated, but again, I poached furniture from this room and put it in different places. So, so this room needs to get filled up again. <laughs> um, and it did come up with its own bar. Um, we, I sold a desk in here recently. That's why the computer's up there, but it did come with its own bar, which is pretty sweet. Um, I want to just put a beverage fridge up there because we love right here. This is actually a brown ice maker. There was one downstairs too. I just spray painted it gold to just kind of hide it for now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's the room. And I think that's the whole house. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to show you all outside. Okay, let's go. Boom. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the outside because when we first got this house, it was horribly overgrown and we didn't know what the pool like pool looked like underneath and we didn't even know if we had a hot tub or not. So I'm gonna show you before pictures right now of what this area actually looked like. And hopefully you can see like, it was just so awful. And so, yeah, we had to cut all that back. We ripped out everything except for these palm trees. Um, we had the pool replastered and the statue, the lady statue was actually here, but we just, um, there was a diving board there. So we removed the diving board and we had them place her there instead. It took like four guys and a giant dolly. So this is our backyard. We lost, we had a couple more cypress trees, but after the freeze, they just didn't look good, so I ripped them out. They were still alive, but I just didn't want to wait for them to grow. So we only have the one there right now. It was a lot prettier, and our plumbago um, had to be cut back. There's large purple flower bushes, so they're growing back now, but it was a lot prettier maybe last year. And then this is the rose garden area. My Charles is kind of leaning, I need to fix it. Um, we did put a day bed out here so I can enjoy my rose garden. And let's see, I don't know, it's just so pretty. We got that fountain, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. And I planted all new like fruit trees. So we've got some cherry trees, some peach trees, some pear trees. Um, that's a giant fig tree right there. And then the ones that line the walls are apple trees and pear trees still. And then um, you can see I've got a couple of blueberries happening. They're kind of lining the garden. Um, so yeah, it's a lot better than what it was. A couple spots. Andy was trying to kill the ants yesterday. But it's looking really nice. Um, and then I'm gonna show y'all really quick. We have this huge shed out here. And I finally planted some vegetables. So as you can see, our tomatoes are starting to grow. And you can see them, they're in there. So yeah, we got tomatoes. I've got, I put in some flowers over there. I got so much rain, they kind of look a little yellow right now. Um, those are cantaloupes and watermelon. So this is kind of just a little area, a little gardening area. And this is the new rose garden I planted. These are all new, I just did them. Um, so new roses and new fruit trees. So I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, and I'll just try and keep you guys updated as much as I can. Every year the house gets better. Like I said, we have flooring coming in and really nice wood flooring. And just a lot of things are happening. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.